Is that a new bookshelf? Yes it is, the old one broke when my apartment flooded. Yeah, the window on the wall wasn't properly sealed, so it rained and flooded my apartment. The carpet got soaked, but that got fixed now, and this week I should be getting an entirely new window. But the bookshelf that I had here, the dark wood one, broke, so I went to Ikea and got a new one. This one's slightly bigger and holds more books, and now it's organized a little nicer, so I will take you guys on a tour of that eventually. My Booktubeathon TBR for 2018. I've never participated in Booktubeathon before. I have never participated in any reading marathon or reading challenge before. They seemed kind of daunting, but there's a bunch of books on my bookshelf that I've just not been pick up and start reading. So I'm hoping that this will motivate me to give those a go. On the booktubeathon was let a coin toss decide between the two books. The two books that I'm putting up for the coin flip are two books that both kick off what I believe to be series. Read one of them way a long time ago in high school and the other one I've not read before but they both have huge followings and weird strange fan bases but I figured that this would give me an opportunity to at least read one of them. The first one is the Mortal Instruments series. The first book is The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Everybody knows what this is. I know what this is. I read it before, but I don't remember anything about the book. I watched the TV show for a couple episodes and then got bored. The next book is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I've not read anything by Lainey Taylor. This was recommended to me a lot by somebody who likes a lot of books that I seem to have not liked, but I figure I will at least give this one a go because I own this one and the second one. So I'm gonna do my coin flip for these two now. And I don't have a coin anywhere near me, so I'm going to use the coaster I got in the A Court of Frost and Starlight Wiccan Fable box. It says a library is a temple of sorts. It's a neat little coaster. So this side will be for Mortal Instruments and this side will be for the Lainey Taylor. And we got Mortal Instruments. So Lainey Taylor lives on my bookshelf another day. The next prompt on the list is a book about something you want to do. So for this one, I picked Ever the Hunted by somebody, Aaron Summerhill, Summerhill, a Clash of Kingdoms novel. I've not read this book. I think it's beautiful, which is why I picked it up. It was all over Instagram. I think it's a Beauty and the Beast sort of retelling, maybe. I picked it up because I think it's a Beauty and the Beast story and I've always wanted to be Belle. If I'm wrong, I don't know, but that's what I think this is. The next prompt on this list was a book to movie adaptation. Now all of the major book to movie adaptations that are happening are like Turtles All the Way Down by John Green and I don't give a shit enough about John Green to pick up his books anymore. He's a great person. I just don't agree with his writing style that much. I think it's pretentious. Uh, no teenager talks the way he makes teenagers talk. I think he's way overhyped. I think he's a wonderful person. I love him and his brother and all the other content that they create. But as far as books, not that interested. Simon and the Homo Sapiens Agenda is a book to movie adaptation, but I just watched the movie and cried like a baby. But once I've seen the movie, I really don't have any interest in the book because I read for the story and if I already know how the story goes, I'm kind of, I've got it, I'm done. So the next one that I'm doing was I picked between The Darkest Minds and this one. The Darkest Minds I have is an audiobook, so it would probably be faster for me to finish in seven days. You know, I picked up this one instead to give me an excuse to read this and that is Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. I've not read this book. I talk a lot of shit about this book, but I've not actually read it. I've not seen the movie either. So, you know, on the list was it has to have green on the cover. So I picked up probably one of the larger books on my bookshelf that I've not read yet, and that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I like it because it's got puppies on the cover. I know that it's like a cute, fun summer read about something that happens to a girl and her family. Like she has to go live with her dad or something happens with her dad. Okay, so the next book is kind of cheating, but you know, whatever, I gotta read seven books in a week and that's been really hard for me lately. The next prompt was read a book while wearing the same hat the entire time that you read the book. So I kind of cheated with this one. I do have a physical book, but it's this teeny tiny little book. So this I can read in about like less than an hour. And it is the 10 make that nine habits of very organized people make that 10 the tweets of Steve Martin. So it's just a little book of tweets. The next prompt for this reading challenge was A Beautiful Spine. So I grabbed The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, which I'm kind of cheated and have already started, and it's a beautiful book. 
Uh, I don't really, I didn't really know what it was supposed to be about, but now I'm about a couple chapters in and I'm very much enjoying it. Uh, it's different than what I thought it was going to be, but I still really like it. But it does have a beautiful spine. I love the gold leafing. It's just a beautiful covered book to begin with. The last prompt on this TBR prompt was just make sure you read seven books over the course of the week. And so I had to pick a seventh book and, you know, I could have gone with the daughter of Smoke and Bone, the one that lost the coin toss but I figured if I'm going to coin toss between a book, it needs to be you either make it or you don't. So one of my original entries for the corn toss was Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Moss. I've still not read this book. Kingdom of Ash is coming out in a couple months, a month, I don't, I've not kept up with it. I've had this since probably, I didn't buy it when it came out. I probably waited a month or two because I really don't like k -All. Everybody complains that you should not not read this book because you dislike k -All, because this book remakes you like k -All. But I'm just really uninterested in the story and I feel like I don't necessarily trust Sarah J Moss anymore. Marilyn, why are you, what are you doing? I do anticipate reading this eventually, but Sarah J Moss is no longer, I'm no longer pre-ordering her books. I am no longer super pumped to read the things that she writes, which really heartbreaks me because that was like the one author that I felt that way about. Okay, that is my booktubeathon TBR. I'm gonna get reading, I guess. Also, I'm a dummy and I forgot to mention this in my original filming, but now I'm editing, is that tonight on the Lit Love Box Facebook, I am doing a live stream D Star sale on some past items. And we're now doing international shipping, so anybody interested in picking up some previous subscription box items and doing a build your own box of sorts, uh, everything's going to be on sale. And uh, for all my international friends, you can now get stuff too. It'll be so exciting. I will put a link to the Facebook event down below. I know that this is last notice, but you know. Yeah.